Hello there, and welcome back to Satisfactory. Yes. We're back on it again. Um. Going to be building some more stuffs. Oh, it's starting to get it's starting to get good. It is actually starting to get good because we're getting to the point where we can actually start manufacturing things. Actually manufacturing things. Oh, it's so nice. Oh, I'm so happy. It was getting pretty boring there, I do agree. Um, don't worry, I'm not one of those that, you know, complains about other people's shit and then, uh, you know, smell my own shit and it does and I think it doesn't stink, you know, that kind of stuff. <laughs> I know my, I know my videos have been incredibly, incredibly boring recently. Um, it's, sometimes that's just the way it goes, though. It's, it's just one of them things we kind of have to deal with, unfortunately. Unfortunately. <laughs> anyway, so yeah, welcome back to our modded playthrough. And if you're new here, uh, check out the description section because there is a mod list down there, as well as the mod authors are down in the description section down there. No, oh, down, down there, somewhere. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, it is down there, so if you want to know the mods list and whatnot, as well as if you would like to, um, if you would like to, uh, you can suggest mods, uh, that would go through with the playthrough, and I will let you know in a future episode whether or not that, uh, whether or not we will add that mod. Uh, may not be to the next one if you suggest it on this one, because sometimes I do record in advance, so... Um, but it will be why or why not um, I will mention it in the next er, in a future video so anyway let's, let's get going man oh it's starting to get good oh I'm so happy so something I wanted to check on that I I want to look at I don't know if it's a mod I was watching okay all right first of all first of all first of all first of all before we get going, uh, I would also like to mention too, you're probably noticing something that was right around here and is now gone. Yes. Uh, I gotta get rid of the concrete. Um, the concrete um, chest that we had temporarily sitting here is no more. It is gone. As well as, so is all the belts and the miners, all the power poles. I removed all the power poles through here. They are gone. This is now um, this is now supported uh, via the other end so it goes through and puts power towards uh, the end stations which then you know obviously brings power through the uh, through the rail so um, yeah it's I removed everything there so because we were making concrete now as well as I oh uh, let me actually show you. Let me go over there. Yes. I'm also happy it's Friday, too. That means I get to have a little bit of a... Well, well maybe not a little bit of a break. I get a little bit of a break uh, on the weekends and stuff. Um, but that is a... I'm stuck on that. You have these? Oh, you just toggle it. <laughs> you just be like, the train's going to go left. We switch it right before they get there. Uh, if anybody can make a mod where these track the these tracks are electrified to the creatures around here, that'd be awesome. <laughs> it doesn't have to kill them; just give them a little nudge so that they run away. Uh, you'll probably notice that something right here is also missing. Uh, if you're paying attention, there was a forest here on this hillside. It is now gone. Um, like I said before, between episodes, I would get um, leaves and wood for uh, solid or for uh, for uh, biomass to turn into solid biofuel. So that is now a thing um, as well. Let's grab some berries here. Boop. But yes, so all the miners are gone. All the Belts are gone, all the electricity's gone, everything's gone. Just going, going, going. That's uh, that's pretty much all it is. So, yes. 
Let's, uh... Let's go take a look over here. It has been running a while. I did let this game run a little while before I started recording so that I could get up a mass of solid biofuel, which then I then waited till I had ten stacks of it and then went and filled all the biomass. Um, all the biomass burners up there. So yeah, as you can see, we got 400 wood in this one. We got 900 leaves in this one. Uh, I did have thousands of them of each, <laughs> but it has uh, ran for a few hours and has run through all of the stuff. So, wonder how we're doing. Well, we got 11 tickets. You know, that's something. I guess we could buy something. Yeah. Let us go over here and see if we have a ticket available. We do not have a ticket available. No, okay, we're good. So 11 tickets is what we got. What we got is what we got. Alright, cool. Um, we do need foundations. Always looking at foundation stuff. We have 11. The double ramp set, we don't really need it because we can create that with these. But we do need the corners, so... Let's get that and that by all. And now we can do a little bit more with our foundations, which will be nice. And then we got one ticket left. Um, we got one ticket left. What can we buy with one ticket? We buy arrows. I'm not done with that, though. Uh, architecture? Anything in here for one ticket? If we had another ticket, we could buy, like, industrial catwalks. Ooh, we can buy the... Oh, we already got the modern railing. The industrial railing? Eh. What about walls? Anything in walls for one ticket? Now, if we had two tickets, we could do the inverted ramps uh, for walls. Uh, maybe we'll... Well... Ooh, if we had two tickets, we could do the wall conveyors. Or if we had three, we could do the... Uh, uh, the wall outlets, which we're going to need eventually. So I think I may wait. We'll throw this ticket into storage. Yeah, definitely throw the ticket there. Okay. By the way, if you'd like to know how I did this, uh, it's in one of the earlier episodes. I don't remember which number, but um, it takes the micromanage mod in order to do this type of stuff, where you can select the chest and move it around uh, in little increments. So we put that in there. Okay, cool. Um, so, now that we've got concrete making, we've got iron ore, or iron ore, um, oops, all tabbing is now how we open the inventory, um, now that we have, um, iron ingots and copper ingots and concrete being made, now that we have that stuff being made, guess what, we're gonna start manufacturing stuff, boy! <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm, I'm really excited. I, know it, uh, I don't know if it sounds like it or not. <laughs> I'm really fucking excited, though, to, to start actually manufacturing. I think we'll start... We need to start out with... Um, plates, screws, and wire, right? So... Um, you know what I think we'll do today, though? Instead of doing manufacturing, because I have all the basic materials now being made... Um, I did say I wanted to work on the fishbowl a little bit. I keep calling it different names. Uh, but yeah, yeah. The, uh, I want to work on the fishbowl a little bit. And I want to work on uh, getting the city center up and over this as well. As I want to, uh, I do want to extend that rock right there uh, with, with a bit of concrete. Because we have the decorations mod, I can actually build another rock on top of that and place it in. But we will go a little bit above the smoke. We need to go above the smoke at the point where... Um, uh, what do you call it? At the point where we can... Um, uh, where we can stand above this area without being hit by the smoke. Um, but yeah, and eventually we'll get, we'll get some more solid biomass. Um, kind of on a retainer, maybe. Um, very right now we need the, we need the stuff for power, but, uh, maybe we'll get some on retainer and then place some, uh, kind of decorate this out. We'll get some, 
uh, we'll get some uh, concrete and some biomass to place some trees and bushes and and uh, vines and stuff. Kind of decorate this place up a little bit so that when we look in here, because this is going to be um, this is going to be a big glass wall essentially, uh, where we can just look in and everything looks pretty. And yes, I do know there is a mod to destroy these and get rid of them, but I would rather have the smoke and stuff like that. I, even though, yes, it does hurt me. <laughs> I would rather have that um, and whatnot. So let's go get some concrete. And we're, like I said, we're not going to be able to do biomass unless we do it by hand right now because um, so I think, yeah, this episode will be that. Uh, just because of... Uh, um, just because we need to do the, or just because we need it for power, so I'm not going to focus on that because we are really, really low on solid biofuel. I need to go take out some more forest and <laughs> some more deforestation. More deforestation. De more deforestation. Deforestation. Yeah, something like that. However you fucking say it. <laughs> uh. But yeah, look at this. We got all of these pieces. I hope they add more, honestly, to the game. I'm hoping Update 7 brings a bunch more buildables. That'd be amazing. A bunch more buildables. Because if we have a bunch more buildables, that's just that many more options. Um, don't know why I'm over here. But that's just that many more options for us creators without having to use a ton of mods. Because although, yes, mods do exist, it's a pain in the butt to run them all, and pain in the butt to uh, to keep them up to date for the creators. Like, if you take if you take even half of the decoration mods in in the mod section and just import or input them into the game, then pay the creators a little bit of money, you know, stuff like that for their ideas and whatnot. I think they could do that. I'm not saying they have to pay for it, but I'm just saying as a common courtesy. You know what? That's not enough concrete. How much do I have? One, two, three, four, five, six. That's 3,000. Yeah, you know what? That, that might be enough. You might think, oh, 3,000. That's a lot of concrete. It's like, no, that's really not. When you're building stuff like we're, we're building, as you can see around here, that is nowhere near, nowhere near enough. I can't wait to, to get this kind of stuff underway, though. But we do need the city center because we need to build the space elevator. And once we build the space elevator, then we can work on, um, then we can work on making our city to where it's efficient. Uh, if you know what I mean. Which you probably do. Okay. Um. So yeah, since we don't have the double ramps, we'll have to do upside down. I don't know if I want to do one meter or two meter. But anyway, so we need to um, test this out. Actually, let me hit eight. Oop. Not hit H. There we go. As I'm using this smart mod here. Wait, how do we make it go? Oh, I'm going the wrong way. Upside down ramp. One meter. Oh, I need the upside down one. Okay, there we go. H, hold it in place. No, that's the wrong way. Yeah. Um, now, I want this down. I want this, like, uh, down the edge here. Uh. That's not going to be enough, is it? No. I need a 2 meter, probably. Or, you know what, a 4 could get us right on level here. Uh, upside down 4. Ah! Fuck. Okay. Ah! Ah, no! Fishbowl's hurting me.
Um, yes. Actually, it's not bad. I think we'll have to do that for a little bit, and then we'll smooth it out to, like, two meter or one meter before we get to the center. Um, just because of the amount of smoke. Oh, you can actually see the tech... Oh, for a sec there, you can see the edge text tile, or the edge tiles of the smoke. <laughs> the smoke's not quite... I mean, it is 3D, but it's not at the same time. I would assume it's like... It's like a like a, a fog mist that's like in boxes, and the boxes move, move it around in like sort of a, a way. Yes, <laughs> just definitely a mod playthrough because we have trains. But don't worry, the trains are balanced if you're new here. Um, we have, they have been getting some new subscribers, so, you know, I gotta keep explaining this, but... Uh, uh, and some new people watching this, I'm sure. But yeah, the trains are balanced. Um, as you can see, the train is going incredibly slow. How slow, you ask? If you're asking that, probably not, but I'm going to answer anyway. Um, they are going 25 kilometers an hour. That's their max. That's the max speed they can go. I think we're gonna put, yeah, we're gonna do a four meter first. It's gonna look a little bit weird. And then we're gonna do a two meter. We'll go from here, we'll go two meter and see if we get caught up in the smoke here. So we'll go out above it. Yeah, we're still getting smoked out. Fuck. Okay, it might have to be um, raised up some more. So we're going to have to do another. Please, sir, another. Fortunately. Okay, is this high enough? No. Because we do need room for the space elevator, so... That's still not high enough. Mm. Oh no... Things are not going well. <laughs> How is that not high enough? Come on, man. Maybe I'll get the mod to destroy the ones on top of the rock. Hmm. And then maybe get another mod to... Um, uh, get another mod to replace them. It'd be nice if I could destroy them. I think they're solid entities right now. Oh, but how do I destroy them, though? Even if I had a mod to destroy them, how would I, how would I do that? We're currently taking up two slots to go up. If we put that one there... I might have to start ramping. Actually, you know what? That might be a bad idea. What if we start ramping back here instead? Well, actually, I want this up on... I want this raised. reason I want it raised though is so I can uh, so I can have curbs essentially yeah, I don't know if I like this I don't know if I like that how would I do it though how would you get to the city center via walking how would you do that we just have to... My creative brain... Not working. My 
Okay, this is not working. Oh. Has to be very specific about where it wants it. Yeah, it refuses to... Yeah, for some reason when I get it here, it immediately rotates. And I don't understand why. Alright, we'll have to probably go down into the smoke. Ah. Need an upside down ramp for that. Yeah, see, for some reason... Ah, uh-oh, that's not good. Okay, we'll have to ramp like that, I suppose, and then we'll have to put a one meter. I don't understand why I can't place it. It's so stupid. <laughs> I can't. I can't get any closer than this because the way I've done this. Maybe here. Now we don't have nothing to worry about it. Nothing to worry about. For some reason, it won't go upside down. I do not understand why. Maybe we'll get rid of this. Go upside down ramp. Oh, now it wants to go into the cove. But yeah, it refuses to. It refuses to be at the same level as that for some reason. Like you do a one meter upside down ramp. Uh, I suppose that would give us what we want somewhat. Not exactly what I wanted, but it'll work. And I gotta go. I was gonna say now I gotta take damage so I can get out of the fish bowl there. Uh, it's such a mess. Designing this is going to take a little while. Oh, look at them clouds, man! There's some cool clouds. Oh, wow. I got a better idea. I got a much better idea. We do stairs along the walkway here. Because stairs are, what, less than half? Like a third? Yeah, I think they're like a third. I think you can get three across. Or you can do like ramps, I suppose, as well. Like this. Oh, they're half. Okay. See so yeah, how what we do is we do like this. Or not like that, but we do half like this, and then we'll walk up. Like I'll have like uh, two sets of ramps, one on each side, going maybe going around or whatever. So what we do is we do a wall here instead. Yeah, we'll do a wall. It'll it'll probably be windows, but we shall see. So basically, we're going to um, because we need the space for everything. So yeah, we're going to do a wall all the way around. Nice. 
So yeah, we'll do a wall here, and then we'll start sloping upwards. And I'm hoping that'll alleviate our issue. Because then we can slope up like one meter or whatever, and hopefully it should bring us up above the smog. So all we gotta do is go up a little bit further, and then that should hopefully clear. And then just temporarily put a four meter foundation here so we can get on top of this wall. Okay. So then we'll do like a Get this on the side of the wall, please. Layer is in the way. Yeah. Get out of the there. And hopefully this should be high enough. So we're gonna put a foundation um of two meter. All the way across there. I want to see if we can take damage. Yep, we can still take damage. Okay. So I need to go up even more. Probably another two to four meters if I had to guess. So let's go up just two more meters. Not taking damage yet. We're gonna go over this way. Okay, we're taking damage. No. Not taking damage. Taking damage. There's another one like right there. Yep, we're taking damage here. Okay, so we need to go up even higher. Dang it. Maybe I should get the mod to destroy the top ones. But then again, like I said, how am I going to destroy them? <laughs> uh, I might get a mod to place more. <laughs> so we're going to need to go up two more meters. And then this should solve it. This should be, this should be high enough. I can't see the particles up here. Am I good? I think we're good. Yeah, I'll have to test if this is... Okay, that's uh, one too far. So I'll have to move this one. Move that one. That one. In that one, I'll we'll place. I'm just kind of dry, what they call dry fitting. <laughs> Sounds dirty, but that's what it is. Yeah, and we're not taking damage at all right now. Yeah, we're not taking damage. I don't know if I'll take damage from that one on that side. It looks like we got a space of one, two, three, four, five. I don't know. I don't think that's enough for the space elevator. Hmm. Yeah, I don't think that's enough for the space elevator. 
plus all all what we uh, also want. So we'll have to do two wall then, and then we need to go up two meter. Okay. There we go. Just by going up that, that gives us two more on either side. I used to know how big the space elevator was. Yeah, the space elevator is pretty massive. Now that should fit in that spot. Okay. We could go up one more and then have the entire thing flat, but I'd rather have a little bit of slope to get up to it. I think that could be, or that should, that could be fun. Stuff like that. All right, so we're going to have to. how far I can reach. <laughs> it's great. Okay. Man, we need a one meter. I'm actually going... Well, no, we're not going to see it, so it don't matter. could do is put our wall in if we wanted. But I think what's going to end up happening is we're going to have this. I'm trying to get some of this done. The stuff is going to be harder to get get to when all this is up top, up, up in place here. That's not going to be fun. No! I have to erase all this. I didn't realize. So then we can go like this. And have it match. All the way up. That looks so cool <laughs> when it does it like that. some of my conquery back. Yes. Okay. This one. I love the smart mod when it comes to wall placements. That's one, basically one of my favorites. Just because it's so easy. We don't want to delete that. Okay. And there we are. That one. So I 
like that. Oh, whoops, hold on. I gotta erase this side first. I could leave it in, but those one meter oop, those one meter concrete walls are the same as a regular wall. They they cost the same no matter the size. And I suppose that's fine, but um, if if I would have it the way I would want it, I would want. Um, I'd probably go the the max for um, a wall. Yeah, would be four. It'd be basically one per. It'd be one concrete per meter, which is a four meter wall. Um, but the foundations would be. Um, a little bit more expensive, so probably double the price. So if you got a wall that's four meters because you're paying four meter per wall, this one is uh, a four meter foundation would be eight. And then uh, a two meter foundation would be six. And then a one meter foundation would be four. So you're paying basically one concrete per meter height. And then, yeah, the one meter walls would be one, and I'd have two meter walls as well. I don't know why they do one, two, and four. Why don't they do one, two, three, four? It's so weird to have something like that. Anyway, <laughs> it, it is. It's a little, bit, a little bit strange. Oh, yeah. So first of all, we're going to have to get rid of this for the moment. Because we got a place. Foundation. Upside down to here first. I get it. Oh. Let me do it like that. Smart mod allows us to do that. So one away from the corners. Because it's gonna be like a pyramid. like that. Yep, and then, oops, sorry, oh, my mic there. <laughs> and then we need the upside down inverted two meter. Wait, not that one. We need the other one. This one here. I was like, wait a minute, something don't look right. Got that. Very, very nice. And that. There. Got this piece. There we are. Just like that. Now we gotta do it once more. <laughs> we gotta do that one more time. One more time. Okay. Yep, just like that. We'll do the corner blocks first this time. Looks like it's placing it the way I need it to place. Which is nice. Alright, and then a two meter. Wait a minute, that's the wrong one, isn't it? Isn't that the wrong one? Oh, because this is an inside corner. Wait. So then how do you get this corner, but... Oh, it doesn't start sloping until here. Unfortunately, this is a... Okay. Yeah, 
That's that's the way it has to be. I had the wrong corners, whoops. And also that's our, that's a four meter. I needed two meter. <laughs> I was just like, wait a minute, there shouldn't have been a drop there. Oh. Sometimes if you're weird if, if it, things go weird you can place the same block in the same spot. Which is uh, also strange. I won't be able to reach the corners. I think we will have to. See what I mean? Like I, I I'm used to placing it because it's in like a zoop mode, but those don't zoop, so it's really strange. Uh, and this one. Yeah, they don't zoop. <laughs> it's just like so I keep placing them. That's fine though. That's a one meter. Oops. There's my two meter. And then two meter ramp. Oh, why did you do that? Okay. I think it's 11. Yeah. I suppose we could use the use the camera one. <laughs> right, now we got to go back up there because we need to do the, uh, the inverted stuff. Gotta do the inverted corners. Upside down inverted. Now how do you get the... the concave corner? Because yeah, there's no corners that go all the way to the end. I think it might be, um, there might be a, a wall or a ceiling or something that does that, actually. Oh, probably shouldn't have fell down. I actually want to look. Because it's so weird how, oop, how these foundations, right, they don't have, they have these type of corners, but these are for inside. This is like the inside corner um, of stuff. And these are the outside corners, right? Well, the only problem with these outside corners is they don't do what you want them to do. Um, not unless you had these first. Which is an inside corner. Because these go on top of that. But there's no reverse of those. If you know what I'm saying. It's really hard to explain. But I think there is a wall that does that now. Or a ceiling or something. Yeah, these. See these? This is what I need. But there are no uh, foundations that actually do this. Just ceilings. <laughs> don't know why the found uh, uh, there's foundations that don't do that. That's so weird. Yeah, because it needs to be this, but it needs to be, like, the other way. Okay. Yeah, I just wanted to look and see if maybe I was missing a foundation or something, but no. That's how we have to do it. Because we're not starting with a... We're not starting with a thing that already does that. Essentially. That just as temporary so we can get up here. There we go. 
So yeah, and then our next one. So you have to start with these, essentially. In order to get this. In order to get this effect right here. But there's no ones that does it the other way to match up and corner this to then go all the way out and around. So then what you end up with is uh, you end up with what we got what we got going on right here. the way I want it? I don't know which way I want it. <laughs> I can't see how it's trying to face. I think it's trying to face it correctly. I'm just not sure. Not sure about that. No. It's trying to face it backwards. It's like, unless I'm being super dumb, which is also possible. <laughs> This look gonna be looking good. Looking good in the neighborhood. Can't wait to start building skyscrapers, man. That's gonna be the good part. That's where gonna. That's where the the meat and chips are. <laughs> that's where the, the 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 shake and bake is. The the steak and eggs. The I don't know. <laughs> I've kind of lost. I was talking about. Yeah, that's what's weird, right? I don't understand what I'm doing. I might be doing something completely wrong here, and I'm just not seeing it for some reason. For some reason, I can't get... I guess they just don't exist, and I've just never noticed until now. I have 800 hours in this game. How am I missing this? Am I being this dumb? But like I said, the only way to get this effect is to start out with more than one corner, I think. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. There's... No, you can't start that out in this corner. Oop. Yeah, you, you can't... You can't put this here. It doesn't work. Because you need to start out with... Um, you need to start out with... Hold on. You start out with this first. Which we can still do, actually. I got, I got a better idea. Okay, hold on. So that's fine, right? Um, so then this thing, soup. So then we got that right. So then we do the... Am I not doing this correctly? Might be being stupid here. So then, if you wanted that, you'd have to go... Like that. So then you'd have to have... Um, 
I have to have this underneath that. Okay, that's not working. Oops. I don't think there's any way to actually do that the way I want. <laughs> without overcomplicating the build in a major way. It's so like I said, in order to have this piece here on this corner, um, these slopes can't be here. This has to be almost a straight wall, essentially. Okay, that's not going to work then. Not, not, yeah, it's just not going to work. We tried. Like I said, unless I'm being completely stupid, which is 100% and completely possible. Yeah, see, I want this to slope down into the corner, but it's like, okay, hold on, what if we remove this, All right, and then we put our two meter here, and then we take this, go like that. about that. It does kind of put it into a diamond shape, or diamond shape, but it does kind of put it into a, a shape. It certainly is a shape. So then we get rid of this wall here. Right. And then to go in here, um, you need to do like a foundation two meter. Oh, wait, hold on. Upside down two meter there. And we need upside down two meter there. Yeah, that doesn't really work. Hmm. Because it's, it's all inverted and screwed up now. No, we can't cut off the corners. Yeah. We just can't cut off our corners. Um... The reason is because there's some corners where the smoke is. Um, and if we have... If we have cut off corners, what'll happen is... You'll be able to get smoke... You know, you'll be able to get smoked out. So upside down this. So yeah, we just have to... Wait. Isn't it this? Oh yeah, it is. Okay. It's just like this instead. I don't know. It's it's gonna be weird. Okay. Alrighty then. Well, I mean, it is finished all the way around. We're just gotta put our our uh, slopes back like they were. 
And there's just no way of doing it. Uh, like I want. There probably is a foundation mod or something that uh, adds those kind of pieces. Should be awesome. Maybe one day. Or maybe I'll grab those concave walls and maybe we'll make this into a roof piece instead of foundation bits. We'll see. This should work, though, for now, until we either get better pieces, better mods, um, anything like that. Um, yes. Oops. Don't need two on top of each other. because I'm not using the smart mod correctly. I'm too stupid for the smart mod. I think I've actually made that joke before. <laughs> I've actually made that joke before. Which is sad because it's... It's all too often true. Actually, we're actually done. Okay. I was gonna put another slope in there, and that's just like, oh wait, yeah, we're done. And then hold the Z key. And then maybe we'll uh, fixture some lights in here and such so that we can light up the area with some. Uh, some uh, nice lighting underneath. I'll light up the fishbowl. Yep, other than this, I might pick this one up um, just because it's in the way. Or it's not in the way, but it's it's like flashing. Oh, they look different. Or maybe it's just because it's underneath the ground here. I'm just going to quickly grab that, just because it's effect on the world. Uh-oh. Should have done four meter. No, oh, stop laughing at me, asshole. quickly grab that real quick. Give me. <laughs> there we go. And now that the wall's in place, we're not gonna get hurt by smoke anymore. Nowhere can we fall in. It's gonna be a little bit strange. Uh, but that's fine. Oh shit, I can't believe the timer had uh, finished itself. Well, anyway, let's, uh, or the timer had finished. <laughs> what am I talking about? I didn't realize the timer had um, done what it was, or, or we're out of time, essentially. That's what I'm trying to say. Oh, I'm out of concrete. We're gonna have to go get some concrete. So, we are ready, pretty much, to place down the space elevator. Okay, we're gonna need 500 concrete. We need some more rods and some more wire. Okay, that's fine. I wanna get that done this episode, though. No, at least we're making some kind of progress. 
So I think I'm going to face the foundation, or face the foundation, face the space elevator this way. Um, or you could face it from, I guess it don't really matter. Um, we could have it facing the west, though, because that's where most of the city's going to be. There's going to be some city on that side, but most of it's going to be on this side, at least for now. Anyway, we'll have to see, though. So we'll face it. Uh, to the west. We can always move it later if we... I guess not. We can't really move it later. Once we build around it, we'll have to destroy all that building in order to replace it if we needed to, so maybe we'll hold off on building structures like that around the space elevator until we're happy with its placement fully. But don't worry, I do have some wires saved up for such space elevator. We need 1,500 wire. There's 1,500 wire. So we need some more. We need a couple more stacks of rods. And then we need to go grab some concrete. See, I told you, 3,000 concrete don't go very far. Then we'll grab uh, another stack of plates. Just to kind of turn some of these machines on. For a little bit. I don't ever take from those two boxes because they're making... Uh, Reinforced plating for me. For now. Yeah, this game, uh, this game lasts a lot longer, huh? When you're trying to place, um, massive buildings. <laughs> when you're trying to actually turn Satisfactory into a building game. <laughs> you're not just placing down the buildings, um, and then hooking belts up. It does take a lot longer to plan out and such. Ooh, look at all that concrete. Hell yeah. We'll grab a couple stacks so we have some on us. That's a lot of concrete. That's a lot of nuts. <laughs> That's an old meme, man. But yeah, I would like to turn this in, or turn that slope into more of a pyramid style. Maybe we'll, maybe later we'll get those uh, ceiling bits and we'll change it up and get rid of the foundations and just have you walk on ceilings, I suppose. Walk on the, the tops of the ceiling. I don't know. I don't know how that's going to work. I haven't placed with, played with those pieces yet because they're new. They're still new, so. But foundations to do that as well would be awesome if they could uh, do that. Oh, let's see. Oops. I shift-tabbed. That's not how we... That's not how we do that. Um, oop. Space elevator, we do have enough. Okay, good. Just making sure before I get up there. Uh, so, architecture, ladder. That's why I grabbed a bunch of rods so I can place this ladder. And we're gonna, it's gonna, re we're gonna remove this eventually anyway, but. Um, there, there's a few reasons why I'm up here. Okay, so what I'm going to do now... Two, three, four... One, two, three, four... Okay, there's the center. And then... Turn this back to concrete structure. Alright, so this one is centered this way. Alright. Should have probably counted that out at some point. Alright, cool. So there is the center block. Um, so then I'm going to use that as a means of placing the space elevator. Space elevator. As you see, see how much room where we needed. Oh, well, I'm gonna face that towards the west. So now I need to figure out where the center of each is. 
Okay, they're centered that way. But I'm not sure if it's centered the other way. If you know what I'm saying. Alright, so how does it center this way? Alright, so it's the exact same. So it's one in from the edge of the foundation lines. Or foundation edges. So if we place it like... Like this, it should be in the center. Okay. No, it wasn't. I can already tell you it wasn't. Oh, it's not centered, that's right. Okay. Get out of here. Get out of here. <laughs> oh, I hit this foundation, that's why it, uh, that's why it didn't delete itself. Okay, because I want this exactly in the center. You know what I might do? As long as I don't use up too much conquering. I go over this way. So this is how you would place stuff in vanilla. Um, just kind of build up your foundations. Okay. So now we know where the center is for that because... Um, special. There we go. Because then we can place it like this. Alright, yeah, you can see how there's a difference there. I think it's here. It certainly looks close. It's hard to see. Oh! So, oh, you can't use the smart mod. Oh, you can't use the smart mod with this. Ah, that sucks. Oh, shit. I call bullshit. Okay, I think that's centered. All this stuff flying out of me. Go space elevator, go. Six. Uh, yes. Yes, that is centered. Okay, good. Also, we get to watch the space elevator. <laughs> Hell yes. This looks cool. Always love this. They did. They, they're like the king of animation. Satisfactory. The Coffee State Studios. They did. They do really good. And there we are. There's our space elevator. It's undecorated right now, but it'll be. It'll be decorated soon. Someday. Someday we'll be able to do that. All right. Our elevator is placed. And it wants us to do smart plating. We finally got there, folks. We finally got there. So yeah, what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, build a building around this, essentially. Um, I have some ideas. Um, nobody steal my idea, but one of my ideas is from a little game called Dyson Sphere Program. I'm going to attempt to copy a building on there building design that I really like. I think it'd be amazing because uh, it's going to fit. I don't know why I'm doing this as well. That's fine. Okay. And this last one. Look at that. Beautiful. Cool. So yeah, this is the city center. Uh, also, I forgot, I've been forgetting about the minimap. Oh, look at this. Nice. Alright, let's get this back to concrete color. It's going to be hard to place underneath of it. 
accidentally play, uh, painted the space elevator too with that, with the concrete color. That's fine though. I'll get it back to where it's supposed to be. Uh, we won't be able to do directly underneath of it, unfortunately. Unless we remove it. Or, unless I go underneath. That'd be the only other way. Actually, we could just, we could just, oh, we can remove this. Okay. And then that one. Yeah. And then that one. And then that one. And that one. There we go. is in the way. Aha! Oh, fuck. Ah, fuck. Come on. Let me have this. Okay, and then we need one over there. Probably was way easier just to go underneath and paint it, but... Oh, we got, uh... Do we got ones underneath there that are painted? I'm not sure. Anyway. Good. Now that is done. Um, so yeah, that's going to be it for this episode of Satisfactory. I think next time we're going to start working on manufacturing. We need to start manufacturing the basics. Because we got our raw materials into ingots and concrete. We now I need to start working on the basics of, like, plates and rods, screws, things like that. We'll start working on that next time. Uh, that'll be good. So, hope you enjoyed. And until next time, I guess it's a goodbye. <laughs>